Update, wife is being lazy and not helping provide for us. Hey guys, just wanted to throw an update here after my post a few days ago. Original. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash relationships slash common slash it 4361 slash my wife is vain lazy and not helping provida for slash utm source equals share in utm medium equals iosap and utm name equals ios smf i read through all of the comments and i took some steps to try to see through her perspective I set aside my anger and my hurt and tried to gouge out what to do. I told her, very bluntly, this is not what we committed to when we married. We told each other that we would have a good life and I feel cheated out of the safety we promised each other. I explained that I couldn't keep bearing the weight of the financial part of our lives alone. She didn't take it well. Surprise, surprise. She accused me of not loving her enough to be the man in our relationship. I was a little confused considering I wasn't aware that we had stepped into the 1930s. I didn't want to be the sole breadwinner. I never wanted to take any of her independence and I never wanted to be her only source of anything. I did my best to stay calm while we talked. She was upset and was throwing things. She broke a few of the items she purchased from Amazon. A new hobby had emerged and she started buying things again. I told her she needed to get a job and start doing her part. We need it. I need it. We don't have children. We don't have pets due to the wild rules in the complex we rent from. There is no reason for her to be home 24-7 and be doing nothing. I explained that I could help her find a good therapist to start working on these issues she has. And I was told that she didn't need a therapist. At this point, I'm just tired. I'm not arguing anymore. I'm not going to do this again. I packed an overnight bag to go stay at my parents' house. She was crying and yelling as I left. And it killed me to just walk away because she's the love of my life. I'm going to spend tonight here at my parents. And then I'll go back tomorrow. She needs help and it's breaking me. I didn't want this. I have done everything to make her happy and keep her comfortable and all I've accomplished is just to make her into this giant mooch. I've been asking myself, how do I fix this? Can I even fix this? But I realize there's nothing I can do except stop being a doormat. She doesn't respect me. She doesn't care about what she's doing to me. How could someone be so selfish? But who knows? That's probably a story for another day. But thanks everyone. Stay safe out there. TLDR Confronted my wife about her lack of financial responsibility to our lives. Was met with tons of anger and now I am sleeping at my parents for the night to let her cool off. Just wanted to share an update for all those who commented with really helpful advice. The fact that she was throwing and breaking things is a really bad sign, especially following such a simple and reasonable request as I need you to contribute to this relationship. You did a great job communicating your needs and removing yourself from the situation when it became volatile. I hope staying at your parents brings you some reprieve and clarity. My wife became a psalm and we lived live on a single income but only after we started having kids. She worked for years before then and we saved a lot of money. After all of the kids were in school, she asked if she could become a permanent psalm and I agreed. It was a mutual decision. I hate to see you going through all of this with your wife. If she's home all day, no pets, no kids, etc. That just doesn't lend itself to a physically and mentally healthy lifestyle. For us, it was a mutual decision and I'm certain that our kids benefited from it. If my wife hadn't changed her mind about having kids, she would have kept working. I wish the best for both of you. Edited to add, my wife's business education and experience were so much help for us. She handled all of our finances, budget, and investments and did really well. Marriage is a partnership. And with my wife at home after having kids, 
she still financially contributed by smartly managing our income and investments. She's the reason we retired early. I once heard someone say something that really makes a lot of sense for me. Not all relationships break because of lack of love. You can break a relationship due to incompatibility, careers, different goals in life or just because someone is being a bad influence in your life. It doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. Just that you end up hurting each other more than bringing each other happiness. That doesn't mean you won't try to make it work. To make a love last I believe you have to try to make it work. Commit to things and even change in some points. But it all comes down to this. Both parties need to be on board and try together. And even then, there's no guarantee it'll work. You tried. If you feel that you want to keep trying, that's okay. If you want to stop trying, that's also okay. Just keep this in mind. It's not about love. Love will always be there. And you're playing your part to try and make this work. Is the other person trying as well? Is the same amount of effort that's being put by them to make this relationship work enough for you? You did the right thing and I'm so proud of you for it. It sounds like you truly did everything you could to help that conversation go well. Even your offer of helping her find a therapist was great. You've set a boundary, and while that's never easy or fun, it's so deeply important to your happiness. At this point, you need to avoid going home for a bit longer. You've done what you can. You may just have to walk away. Like you said, this wasn't the commitment you made. Sometimes you just gotta let go of that which holds you down. It's not ideal, and I hate to be the one who suggests it, but it's the reality of your situation. I wish you all the best hopefully it turns out for the better. Dude, just remember you're walking away from an abusive situation. Throwing things and breaking them in anger is just a step away from throwing them at you. You did the right thing. The woman who is the love of your life does not seem to exist any longer. Stay strong. I just want to mention that the way she behaved throwing, breaking things, is a form of domestic violence, abuse. No matter what you decide to do please make a diary of incidents like this in the dates times they happen. Ed, if you do decide to leave, contact the police and ask for them to escort you to the house as you fear for your safety and the possibility she might make a false accusation against you. Show them your diary before you go to so they are properly aware and ask them if they would suggest a no contact order, domestic violence order. If they don't seem to care, ask to speak to their superior and make a formal complaint against them for unprofessionalism. Violence isn't a gendered issue and should never be taken lightly regardless of perpetrator or victim. All the best and be good to yourself. If there was ever a time to call a lawyer, this is it. Throwing things around is a form of abuse. You don't have kids and are young. You'll be hurt but this is a perfect time to just go your way. Don't wait until she decides to be what you want again for a little while and get into a vicious cycle, especially if you were to have kids. She accused me of not loving her enough to be the man in our relationship. Gaslight manipulation. Red flag. She was upset and was throwing things. She broke a few of the items she purchased from Amazon. Violence. Destruction of property. Red flag number two. These two red flags purely in her reaction to a conversation are grounds to leave the relationship. Add in the complete lack of contribution and she's basically financially abusing you? Time to get a divorce mate. Good luck man, seems you've made up your mind. This comment will not address many of the things you mentioned in both posts as other have done so. But here are the standout things. 1. You two need to be able to entirely disagree about something without anyone devolving into throwing. Things. While that isn't physical abuse it is intensely avis behavior aimed at being as volatile as 
possible in hopes that it will be a deterrent from the other person ever going against you. 2. None of this is yours to fix, she is your wife not an appliance or a car. It's not your job to fix her. You both built your relationship and you both have to work on fixing it together. Be very careful when you start referring to things concerning your relationship with I instead of we. 3. Telling anyone they need therapy is an almost guaranteed way to make them not listen to you. It might serve you better to suggest you both go to couples therapy to help work through the differences in communication styles and expectations. Also in order to help her talk to you more especially if she might have a reason for not seeking work. This year has been a lot to deal with and people cope in weird ways. Edit. Spelling is difficult. Hey so I agree with all the comments saying that. Assuming she is mentally okay. You should just walk out but need to make you aware of one caveat. She might have bipolar disorder. Mild as of right now. Based on this being a cycle that repeats every eight months. Her personality or values suddenly changing. Like now she wants to be a SAHW. Her falling into a rut where she can't seem to focus on anything and dreams up hobbies that go nowhere. Moods go up and down and intense. To point of damaging property. I would suggest, while staying safe at your parents, at least give her a shot by telling her you're willing to work on it only if she is willing to get checked out by a therapist that those are the terms to be with you. Obviously use your discretion and read up to see if she has any other symptoms but like this. Could explain it and if she is willing to work on herself and figure out the right medication. Things can work out. So, firstly I want to say you sound completely justified in how you feel. I didn't read through all the comments on the last post but it sounds like you're doing a lot to carry both of you at the moment. That's not sustainable and isn't how it should be. However, as you acknowledged in your last post it sounds like your wife is quite probably suffering from depression or some sort of mental health problem. And from how your post reads, it sounds like you've brought up all of the problems in quite quick succession. If it is mental illness she probably knows she's not pulling her weight and she probably feels awful about it already but she probably feels overwhelmed with how to deal with all of these problems, so she's lashing out, which she shouldn't do, and that needs to be a firm boundary set, but that's how it is. Also, it sounds like she's fallen into the trap of being most qualified for jobs she hates. Been there, done that myself. You quit hoping to find something better, but it doesn't show up, so you go back to the same kind of job you hate. That doesn't make it okay for her to shirk her responsibilities, but I wonder if you could communicate your needs to her in a more broken down way that would make it easier for her to tackle. You said she's the love of your life, so I'm assuming you really want to save the relationship. I'd really recommend you present all the problems in stages so it seems really manageable for her. Firstly, you want to remind her that you do love her and want to be with her but that the way you are living isn't sustainable for both of you. You recognize that she's been unhappy with parts of her life previously, and you want to help her improve on that but the situation as it is isn't sustainable for very long. So you want to help her find solutions to move to a more sustainable life. Straight out of the door I'd recommend couples therapy cause it's a lot easier for someone to Recognize they need individual therapy and what kind of therapy they need once the doors of communication have been opened with their partner and they can hear a rational point of view from an impartial third party. Set a budget for the Amazon spending to allow for you to pay for the couple's therapy that enables her to get into the habit of curbing her spending while seeing a direct benefit to her life from doing so. From the fact you're bringing up her pattern of leaving jobs etc. Now, I'm guessing that's something you've been unhappy with for a while but perhaps not communicated and I'm sure you'd like to see her doing something that doesn't make her miserable so you two can have a life together. So, 
it's important to communicate that having set the wheels in motion with couples therapy in a budget it's easy for you to step it up from there slowly you're happy she's doing some therapy and working on her herself but while she's thinking what to do is there a way you guys could make a couple of extra bucks through one of her hobbies selling stuff on etsy etc and build it up from there to can you do a couple of days a week working at a job you hate a finance an evening course and something you do want to do also i think it's beyond reasonable to want some of the housework if not all done if you're going to work day and she isn't but the whole maintenance of a house can be a bit overwhelming so i don't know if you're breaking it down for her darling i know you're struggling at the moment but so am i so it would mean the world to me if you could hoover the house and get dinner on the table when i come home it might be easier for her to hear it as a nice gesture rather than a reprimand i think people often respond much more positively to requests when you make it sound like they'd be doing something nice for you rather than it's something they owe you even if in fact you feel like it's something they should be doing the goal is the end result not the way you've asked it apologies if you've tried all the above already i haven't garnered enough from your posts to tell how many different communication styles you've tried but in my experience that can really make the world of difference as i said I looked at your previous post but I didn't read all the comments to apologies if it's things you've already tried. Ultimately, if you are hoping to preserve the relationship you need to start putting in a few boundaries ASAP and start building up from there. Communication is always key, and it doesn't sound at all like you're beyond hope yet, but what you need to do is keep in mind. What goals need to be achieved for the relationship to be sustainable for you? And try and keep those in mind and see if you feel like you're moving closer to those goals. Ultimately, nobody will blame you if you can't or don't want to make this relationship work both. Parties have to be happy in a relationship. But since you expressed a desire to make it work I thought I'd throw in my two cents. I know that you have a lot of comments already. But has your wife ever been evaluated for ADHD? It presents very differently in women and is almost criminally underdiagnosed in adult women. Your wife's patterns with work, new hobbies, and emotional dysregulation sound like adult ADHD. And therapy is important for making any progress. I know that that is only helpful if she agrees. But maybe after you both cool down she can think about it. I highly recommend the subreddits r ADHD partners and r ADHD women. They're good resources for learning and you can ask questions there. I know you're both having a tough time now, but I really am rooting for you too. You don't need to fix anything. Her throwing things is unacceptable. She's not a toddler. That's grounds in itself to leave and never look back. You're not her bank account. And her telling you to feed the man is incredibly sexist I'm glad you left for the night. She needs to know that you're not gonna put up with her antics. I wasn't aware that we had stepped into the 1930s lol lol that's hilarious. Made my day. She portrayed herself to be someone she's not for you to marry her. You loved the illusion of who you thought she was. She's now showing her true colors, it's time to accept this and book an appointment with a divorce. Attorney, you need to know your rights. It's a really tough pill to swallow. I have been there. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel and you will come out the other side a bit bruised but you'll be fine my friend. I just went through something similar with my ex. We weren't married so it's not as bad as what you're going through but it's so fucking hard to be. The only source of support and stability in a relationship. It bleeds into every interaction. And probably like me, you feel an immense amount of pressure to perform of work because you're the sole breadwinner in constant anxiety about what happens if you lose your job and have to rely on your partner. I hope you guys work it out. If you enjoyed this video, 
please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.